The Tri-County area set to receive millions in grant money to fight human trafficking. Specifically, the money will help fund essential positions like investigators and prosecutors. It will also make it easier for agencies to share essential data between themselves. Our Molly McBride breaks down exactly what the $7 million will be used for and why experts say everyone brings something to the table when it comes to fighting human trafficking. If you look at the vulnerabilities within our society, our, our um, community, you can really see that it's probably relevant to wherever you're sitting. Brooke Burris, co-founder of the Tri-County Human Trafficking Task Force, says everybody can be impacted by human trafficking, adding that our region in particular has many labor-intensive industries. Hospitality, construction, agriculture, tourism. <laughs> That those things are making our economy run. Um, so everyone is a stakeholder in, in this problem. Early access to phones making every child more at risk. It is easy for parents and guardians to not realize how accessible their their children actually are. The seven million dollars will fund two full time sled trafficking investigators and a full time victim advocate housed at North Charleston and Somerville Police Departments. It will also fund two prosecutors, two paralegals and two prosecutorial investigators at the ninth and first judicial circuits and on the victim services side, one full time human trafficking attorney, a paralegal, a bilingual coordinator and a bilingual Lingual case manager. Some victims just want their driver's license back. Some victims just want to get access to their children again. So that immediate call for law enforcement isn't always the right choice when you're dealing with a trauma informed approach. It'll also fund a data researcher, strengthening data collection and information sharing between agencies. The tactics, techniques and procedures of the bad guys is always changing. We have to pivot and be able to get ahead of that. Reporting for Live 5 News, I'm Molly McBride.